bodi ya mikopo ya elimu ya juu help huenda wakapata muda zaidi wa kulipa mkopo huo iwapo mapendekezo ya ripoti ya BBI yatatekelezwa kulingana na ripoti hiyo wanafunzi wanaohitimu kutoka vyuo vikuu wanapaswa kupewa muda wa miaka minne kabla ya kuanza kulipa mkopo huo pendekezo hilo limekaribishwa na baadhi ya watu waliohitimu ambao wangali hawajapata ajira kama anavyotuelezea mwanahabari wetu wa masuala ya elimu Sharon Baranga My name is Abdurrahim Masan. Uh, I was a student at Masen University pursuing Bachelor of Arts International Relations and Diplomacy. I graduated last year in December with a second class upper and since graduation I've been trying to apply for jobs. Huku akiwa katika pilka pilka ya kutafuta ajira, Hassan hakuzingatia tu nchini bali alijaribu bahati yake katika nchi jirani. Kampuni moja kutoka Uganda ilikuwa tayari kumpa nafasi lakini hakufanikiwa. So this was a job in Uganda and uh, the the organization that I was to work with uh, sent me the the details. Late March uh, COVID-19 came the country was closed down. I was supposed to report in April. That is when I was supposed to go for the job. Uh, so I could not go because the borders were closed. After that I've been trying to apply for jobs, I've been sending my CVs, but most companies were like uh, we cannot employ people with this situation, with this corona situation. Hassan anaishi eneo la Makina mtaa wa Kibra, aliamua kuanzisha biashara ili kujikimu. I started uh, selling bread after I got connections to my uncle who was supplying bread. And so I started selling bread. Uh, I started with one cut at that time. So after a few days I, I increased my sales and then I came to open this depot which I'm running with my dad right now. For a day we cannot miss to sell 10 coats. That is when it is so bad, but sometimes it even goes up to 20 up to 30. Yeah, depending on occasions because there are some occasions like funerals whereby they get bread in wholesale. They can take 10 to 15 coats. Apart from that, uh, I have uh, chicken at home that uh, I've tried to, uh, to keep me busy also. Kama wanafunzi wengine waliopokea mkopo kutoka kwa bodi ya mikopo ya elimu ya juu nchini HELB, Hassan alipata afueni aliposikia pendekezo la ripoti ya BBI kuongeza muda wa kulipa mkopo huo kuanza miaka minne baada ya mwanafunzi kuhitimu. So the total amount that I owe HELB as principal, principal amount was 170,000 and the, there is that 6% interest per year. So as years goes by, the interest keeps on increasing. The BBI is proposing that help uh, recipients should get a grace period of four years before they start repaying the loan. I think that is, that is a good idea because most of, of the people when they get out of campus, there is no job. So they are, they are incapable of paying the, the loan. Kulingana na ripoti hiyo, iwapo kuna yeyote aliyepokea mkopo huo na hata kuwa amepata ajira baada ya miaka nne tangu kuhitimu, basi wataondolewa nyongeza ya riba kwa mkopo huo hadi watakapopata kazi. Most people default from help not by their liking but because of the large interest that has accrued after the, the many years that they have termed. So to avoid such defaulters, I think it is a good idea that uh, help adopts that uh, that law and it will help most graduates because they will not have that pressure that now I've finished school I have to pay loans first before I start building myself Pendekezo hili linajiri wakati ambapo kuna majaribio ya kupunguza riba kwa mkopo wa HELB Sharon Baranga TV 47